This heart stopping video now from Lake Tahoe. Look at that boat. The moment's flame swallowed up that vessel. A man on board able to escape just seconds before. Incredibly, nobody was hurt. CBS 13's Ryan Hill with more on the rescue and the one person who just happened to be in the right place at the right time. And when we were pulling up to the vessel, the person was jumping off and onto a Good Samaritan boat. An unbelievable sight on Lake Tahoe. A boat riddled with flames as U.S. Coast Guard crews pull up to help. I have not seen anything like that. That was a first for me. Hunter Waldron says he saw the fire from the boat ramp and says he talked with the man who jumped to safety this morning as he pulled the charred remnants of the boat from the water. He said it started smoking and before he knew it, it was just on fire. He dove off and swam to the, some people pulled up and said, jump, jump, you know, come to our boat. Petty officer Timothy Miles says the Good Samaritan and the man who was saved were calm as the Tahoe water even though the roaring flames could have rattled anyone. The Good Samaritan was very grateful. He helped us get the person onto our vessel so we could assess for medical emergencies or injuries. And the guy that was inside of the boat was actually really, really calm, and he, he did a great job. Aside from losing his boat, the U.S. Coast Guard says the man walked away unscathed from this inferno. It was totally fully crisped up, burnt like a marshmallow. The boat may be lost, but thankfully the man's life wasn't. All because of some quick thinking and a selfless act in a sea of chaos. It's really a tight knit community, and it seems like everyone is always willing to help each other. Boaters help other boaters. Whoever helped them just did what anybody else would do. I would like to think, you know, if I was there, I'd be like, hey, my boat's on fire. We should probably see if they're okay. Where I come from, you help each other. There you go. The Coast Guard says it's still unclear how the fire started. There's about 40 gallons of fuel aboard, and they're going to be lifting up that wreckage to. Uh, get rid of it. But what a, what a frightening sight. Huh? Yeah, no kidding. You see the aftermath of that boat. Just incredible.